In my last video, I asked my audience, what's the best Nasi Lomak place in KL? And I got a few answers. Hmm. Nasi Lomak Wanjo. Kampung Nuru, Kuala Lumpur. Let's go! Nasi Lomak, I'm How's it going, man? Yes, is it good? Is it good, good? Yeah. <laughs> That's what my Malaysian people told me. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. This one is like uh, mostly the nasi lemak. This one is for breakfast. Uh, for the best place, nasi lemak in KL. Oh. Rendang is quite good. Before the normal time is rendang is just on hari you know, or hari raya. Hari raya. Ah, uh, yeah. Here. Only in hari raya only, but in Wanjo, you can eat with rendang every day. Oh, well, thank you for the tips, man. <laughs> you got me more excited now because everyone was telling me about that place and now you're endorsing it, so it's good. I I'm recording this, do you mind? Because I'm going to show it to my people too. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name, brother? I, my name is Muhammad Sofi. Mm. The morning is morning. You, you can go to the, the best breakfast you can eat. And go to Jala Masjid India. What is it called? Uh, Jala Masjid India. Jala Masjid India. India. Uh, yeah. Uh, is the that ABC, is that ABC Corner? The name of the restaurant ABC Corner. Oh, ABC Corner. And uh, uh, then they Very nice. Now uh, you're very nice. Thank you for giving me all the information. <laughs> this is why I love the Malaysia. Malaysian people like you are very friendly. <laughs> Thank you so much, my man. This is uh, Kambang Baru, no? Yes, Kambang Baru. This is, okay, nice. This is like... Mostly uh, the local... Locals, that's uh, what I was going to say. Yeah, this area. Oh, nice, yeah. nice. And the mostly for tourists, Jalan Alor. Jalan Alor, yeah, the, the food the trucks. Where, yeah. uh, the, it's uh, very street food. Oh, yeah. But this, uh, because it's, the tourists don't know that this area is... <laughs> <laughs> this is a nice area. This is like a local area, like you uh, said. Yeah, local area. Nice. You see the green color? Green, uh, green color? Yeah. Uh, this one is uh, Chendo Durian. Chendo? Durian. Ah, uh, Durian. Yeah. Ah. Oh. So in front of there is Wajo. So you can, if you want to eat the Chendo, you can go in front of there. Oh, I see, I see, I see. <laughs> if I had a space, because I think I'm gonna... <laughs> <laughs> a bed for you, sir, close. Is it? Yeah, it's closer. Oh my God, that's really bad luck. Why? So bad luck for you. Is there another... Uh, is there another uh, Nasi Lamak place here? I'd say to you, all the Nasi Lamak is closed down now. Why would they close? Still, still uh, high rise. Why well, everyone, everyone else is open? Some people are open, some people not open. Sir. I try to find you over there. Wait, 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 wait. I try to find that new place. Bad luck, bad luck today, bad luck. Nasi Lamak place closed, bad luck. Nasi Lamak Tangling is Tangling. very famous. Okay. Yeah, it's just open in the morning, no, sir. Open for you. This open? Yeah, Nasi Lamak. I'm the only customer. Nasi Lamak City Garden. Uh, what do you recommend now I get for Nasi Lamak? Nasi Lamak better you, you use the chicken rice. Yeah, chicken rice, sorry. Beef. Chick uh, chicken. Beef. Beef. Okay, thank you so That's much. Welcome, sir. I appreciate it. Have a good day, sir. You, you, you too. Thank you so much. I appreciate welcome. your help. Thank you, sir. Thank you. So this is where we ended up. The other place was closed. We'll see. Where? How you doing? Do I order here, there? I want nasi lemak. Oh, nice. So I get this. You get the rice first. Then you get to choose from here. Yes. All right. So I don't know anything. You're gonna help me. I need something. A beef. Beef. Which one is beef? This is red dang beef. Okay. Let me get red dang beef. And what is this? Lung. Lung. What's the best with it? What do you think is the best? I like beef, so I'll try something else with it. You want chicken? Squid. Yes. Yeah, let me try it. Let me try the squid. This one? Yeah. 
love that. Do you have something to drink? Uh, yeah, it's uh, uh, just for this. How? The price just for now. What about no, this? Uh, we got we got uh, rice. This tea, uh, this is milk tea. Uh, this is a uh, chocolate drink. Uh, we call it Milo. Oh, I know Milo. This is Titanic? Uh, yes, Titanic. I love Titanic. But now, maybe after food. But uh, what about uh, something cold? Sugar. This is called syrup. A uh, rose wine. This. You want sugar or milk? Yeah. I need something with, with that goes with the food. Okay. Uh, I think... So milk, I don't think milk is good. Syrup. I'll, I'll try it. Okay. What, what is it called? Syrup. Alright. Thank you, thank you. How much? Yeah. 12 ringgit. So let's get to it. The other place was closed. Since I'm already here, and already the mood of Nassim Lamarck, we gotta try it. So, first of all, this is the Nasi Lamarck. Got two of these. Then you get to mix this. This is a squid. And this is supposed to be beef. Now I'm not really sure if I made the best choice. But part of the experience is to try new things with open mind. It's a little bit spicy but it's, it tastes really good I can have only rice no problem let's try the beef rendering I'll have that with some rice nasi lemak rice this is really good it's actually good I don't mind having this beef again. Pretty good. Now we got some squids to, to taste. So let's find a piece of squid. We then ask the Mark Rice. This is Mr. T, and I approve. Everything you eat is a little spicy. It's not extremely hot, but it's not mild. That spiciness and sweetness, because this sauce is sweet and spicy at the same time. It gives it this distinguished taste. I think it's the secret of making it that tasty. Especially when you combine it with the nasi lemak which is cooked with coconut water as far as I know hmm. I'm glad I came I still want to try the other place that was recommended by my followers on social media and by the grab driver who endorsed it too food was amazing it was kind of spicy especially after you know like a couple minutes of eating kind of got to me now when I now that I'm I'm done with my food I can feel the spice I can feel the heat but would I do it again yes food was tasty this was spicy a little bit sweet I loved every every bit of it this is Nasi Lamar this is Mr. T this is Kuala Lumpur. This is Malaysia. Now after finishing my meal at this local restaurant, I started walking outside. I wanted uh, to walk instead of just getting a taxi to get to discover the area more. This area, from what I'm seeing, it combines the new town with the old town, the local area with the touristic area. This is a local area that I'm in. They try to keep it traditional. And this is, I'm walking toward the, the newest one where you can see the high rise. 
I still feel the spices from my last meal that I just had, but it was very tasty. That it really made me happy. Wow! Look at this city, guys. Look at this city. I'm just in love with Malaysia. In love with Kuala Lumpur. It's just so beautiful, peaceful to walk around, talk to these beautiful people, interact with the locals, eat this delicious food. Well, that looks nice. I'm gonna walk into it. How you doing? Say hi. <laughs> you Malaysian? No, Bangladesh. Nice, nice. You like uh, Kuala Lumpur? Yes. Nice. I love it too. You can always see many different people from many different parts of this world coming to this beautiful country. Whether they're working, whether they're expats, whether they're touring, Malaysia is a big melting pot. So this is the original place that I wanted to come to. It's called Wadjo, the Nasi Lemak place, but they're closed today. I looked up their reviews and it was recommended by so many, uh, by so many people, including my followers. So I, tend, I do intend to come back, but it, it doesn't look closed. It looks like they're under renovation or something. Huh. Yeah, I don't know if they're just closed for today. It looks like they're under renovation. Okay, I guess uh, the guy said that they're closed because they're making renovation. See all the locals trying, enjoying their food. Honestly, <clears throat> interacting with the local people, eating their local food, walking in their streets, is what I came here for. Is the travel experience anyone who's traveling should live? I did not come here for luxury. I did not come here to stay in five stars hotels. I did not come here to go shopping in the most luxurious places. You know why? Because it's not part of my experience. Why? Because we have this in America. I'm here to experience the culture. To, to eat what people, Malaysian locals, local people eat. Local cuisine do the same things a lot of these lo local people do. I am enjoying this walk. I'm walking in the streets I've never been on. I'm just following my GPS, walking. I can 1000% tell you, I feel 1000% safe walking in Malaysia, an unknown street, among these lovely local people. It's too beautiful to go home right now. As I was walking toward my apartment and just enjoy this weather, it's not that hot, it's not that humid, it's just okay right now. And every time weather in Malaysia is good, you should definitely take advantage of it. Because a lot of times it rains, a lot of times it's hot, a lot of times it's humid, and a lot of times it's just perfect weather, just like now. Beautiful, ain't it? Until next time, guys, <clears throat> this is Mr. T. This is Malaysia. This is Kuala Lumpur. Take care.